Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Hull City career mode series. And you're probably wondering, why have I picked Hull City? And I'll tell you exactly why. So while I've been streaming my ultimate team, I've had Ryan Longman in my chat. Ryan Longman is an actual professional footballer who plays for Hull City in real life. So, following on from that, we've got Ryan Longman as our striker for Hull City and our captain. And the rules for the career mode are that everyone in the team can change, but Ryan Longman has to stay our striker and our captain. And there's a bet on the line as well, which we made tonight on stream, that if I can win the Ballon d'Or with Ryan Longman in this save, he will send me a signed shirt. So the stakes are high. And what my aims are. So for the current season, we're aiming to get promoted. We want to get promotion. And we're going to try and keep it semi-realistic, uh, which is obviously difficult with career mode. And when we start getting to the high ends of the Prem, we're going to sign players that you wouldn't normally see play for Hull City. But that's fine. That's just career mode. So the aims for the end of the save. We are aiming to, within our first few seasons, win a domestic trophy. So the FA Cup or the League Cup. But after that, our aim, before we can finish the save and move on to do another club as another career mode series, we have to win either the Prem or the Champions League with Hull City. So stay tuned to see how we fare. I've already filmed episode one and two, so they should be coming out relatively soon. Uh, but obviously this this is episode one, so ignore me when I say that. But episode two should be coming out very soon. And I'll be filming episode three, four, whatever, coming out next week. So I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow the series. And also let me know down in the comments if you've got any signing suggestions for the next window. Enjoy. All right, ladies and gents. If you've been following the stream, you'll know that we've had Ryan Longman in our viewers. Now, this man, he plays for Hull City. And therefore, we're going to be doing a Hull City career mode. So, let's get this underway. I've done my scouting. I've had a look at um, what sort of players we could sign. And uh, we'll just get into it, really. Now, the question is, which real manager is going to become the manager of Hull City. And in my mind, it's pretty simple. I think there's only one manager that would be good. And that is Sean Dyche. That is Sean Dyche. He's looking kind of good, kind of stylish. So, um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at his outfit. Why, where's his tie gone? Sean is uh, dressed to impress. Absolutely. Right, so we're going to be managing Hull. They have the most importance on their financial expectations. Uh, very low on youth development. It, it, there aren't really a huge amount of expectations. But we'll get going, we'll get going. Okay, uh, legendary, we'll do five minute halves. Uh, European does not matter. Financial takeover, we will not be doing a financial takeover. We're doing this exactly as is. Oh, here he comes, Sean Dyche, the new manager of Hull City. Unbelievable. It's kind of annoying that he's just signed for Everton, because otherwise it would be you know, a tad more realistic. But for the rest of this career mode, I'll be trying to keep it as realistic as possible. Oh, there we go. This is our homegrown talent. We'll see what position he's in. Right. It, which one is it? I guess it's this one. A left mid. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. I'm going to be playing the 4-3-3-4 formation. So we'll switch into a left wing. I know it realistically doesn't make a difference. But it makes a difference to me. Uh, he's 5'5". Five five. This guy is going to be sick. Uh, then we got a centre mid as well. Who's looking pretty good. Um, we'll keep these two as well because they could be of use. We'll start having a look at the team. We'll have a look at the team. Um, we'll do... Oh, Ryan Longman's in the starting lineup. We love that. Um, but I will be playing Ryan Longman up top. And he will be club captain. That is what we'll be doing. 
Yeah, okay, so we definitely need to sign someone on the right. And maybe a left back. Ah. Uh, here it is. Right out of the history books. Ryan Longman greeting us to the club. Greetings, boss. On behalf of the whole team, I wanted to welcome you to Hull City. The future is exciting, Ryan. The future is exciting. We're going to have a look because I think our most pressing is on the right, which that is for Kai Gordon um, and Isaacson. Isaacson is the one. Okay, you reckon if you get it for a deal of around 4.7. So we're actually going to go straight in and try and get Gustav Isaacson. Because um, I think he'll be a very important player for us in this career mode. Okay, I want 5.9. That's pretty much our whole budget, so we're not going to do that. So I offered 4.5 before. Let's offer 4.7. The tension's quite low, so we'll see what we can get with that. 5.9, let's stick into it. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, Sean is looking so relaxed. Um... Let's go 5 million. We're really stretching here, but we could have a few sales happening to bring us in some more cash. 5.4. Let's go. Come on. Sean knows we can make a deal. Uh, 5.1. There we go. There we go. Okay, right. So we got him for 5.1 million. It's a big chunk of our um, budget, but that's fine because we've got a pretty decent squad as is. Um, and we might have a few players going out. Uh, he wants to be crucial. That's fine. You will be crucial, my friend. You're going to be a star player at this club. Uh, four years. You can always push it one more year. Easy. No release clause. Okay, and that's the wage he wants. 410k for that. No, 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 no. Okay, so we'll give you 10k. And then a 100k signing bonus. And that should be enough. There we go. Easy. Right, so we've got that all sorted now. Uh, we've got our first signing of this career mode. It is Gustav Isaacson from Michelin. He's for, what was it, 5.1 million. So pretty much almost all our transfer budget on one player. But as I said, with the sales and um, like the actual squad we've got, that's not too bad. So our squad's good enough. And uh, we might be selling a few players to get a few more million in. Um, and we really needed someone on that right. So, there we go. What number is he wearing? Was it number 11? Oh, there it is. Isaacson number 11. I will keep him with that number for sure. Um, right, there we go. What does, it, what does the game rate this transfer? Are you going to tell us? Oh. A C. Oh, okay. It's, it's a good price, apparently. Um, best possible, 3.5. How could I get him for 3.5? Good squad player. Compare position. No, 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 no. Him and Ryan Longman are not competing. Absolutely not. They'll be playing side by side. Absolutely. 16. No, 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 no. We're not going to give him number 16. Uh, could give him number 10. But he's going to be striker. Oh, yeah. And Syed... Syed... Syed Manesh is 9. But he's a winger. So that doesn't sit right with me. So we're going to Ryan Longman number 9. And then Syed Banesh. Uh, maybe 22 is a good winger's number. We're going to go 22 for this season at least. There we go. Right. So this is what we're working with at the moment. Isaacson, he is what the third highest player in the squad. So that's a good, good signing. Um, and definitely should help us throughout the season. And he's got a high potential. So that's a lot of growth uh, coming from him. We'll see how we get going. Right, so we're going to sim the preseason. Uh, and realistically, I will show the games. Oh, there we go. Ryan Longman scores on the first game of this career mode. Oh, we are setting the scene very nicely for the rest of this career mode. Okay, can we get back-to-back -back wins? Oh, Longman's a bit tired, but he has to stay in the team. He has to stay in the team. Uh, oh, we lost. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's just pre-season. Um, sim that. Okay, two will draw against Derby. So that's, that's not the end of the world. I think I'd be silly not to. So I'm promoting Reese Holmes. But he's obviously not going to start in the first game. He'll start on the bench. Because uh, we'll make it a bit realistic. Because then they're never just 
take out a youth player and throw him straight into the starting lineup. No. Uh, but that gives us more squad depth there. You think we should change the captain? Whoever this assistant manager is needs firing. He did not understand the assignment. Let's get into the game. We're playing on Legendary. Uh, we're playing West Brom at home. Very similar formations. Uh, and I believe that West Brom will probably be a pretty tough opponent uh, throughout the course of the season. So we'll see if we can take some points off them in the first game. Oh, there it is. Unbelievable. We are so ready for the start of this new season under our new manager, Sean Dodge. Here come the lads. Ushering in a new era. Right, let's get this season underway. Don't allow the cross. Oh, they're playing some good football here. Oh, it's a penalty. Just four minutes in. Alfie Jones, who could be leaving the club any day now, has just given away a penalty. Time for Carl Darlow to step up. Oh, that's harsh, I think. That is harsh. That is so harsh. But it is what it is. We've got to save it now. Can Darlow do it? He can! He saves the penalty. And Hull keep it level. Too fun. Into Isaacson. Isaacson gets the better of the West Brom left back. And pulls it back. Too fun. Plays it back to Traore. Seri thinks about the shot, changes his mind. Into Tufan. Isaacson. Into Traore. Back. Tufan! What a goal! What a goal from Hull City! And Tufan, the man who said he should play today, has made the difference. And it's one all. What a goal! Great passing play from Hull. And a near post finish. Tufan making it right. Showing why he said he should be in this game. Great finish. Great play. Great goal. It's Waddle. Too fun. To Longman. Good play. Can he get there? Oh. Sayabadesh can get there. Plays it into Longman. Ryan Longman. The captain. He scores for Hull City and they lead 2-1 at the start of the second half against West Brom. A comeback from Hull. What a pass this is from Man Sayabadesh. It's actually not the best of passes. He really underdoes it, but Longman does fantastically well and smashes it across goal. Maybe the keeper could have done better, but he won't care. It's Hull City 2, West Brom 1. Christie wins it. Oh, almost loses out, but oh, he lost it. Oh, no. Oh, big save from Carl Darlow there. Big, big save. And Jones actually does something right. Isaacson gets it back from Traore. Here comes Isaacson racing down the left. Oh, oh, it's close. Longman. Oh, can he get there? He can. Plays it back. Sayabane! Great composure from Ryan Longman and persistence to make sure he got to that ball. And it paid off as he got the ball off the keeper and the defender and could play it back to Syed Manesh, who can make it 3-1 to Hull City and really get a grip on this game. It's going to be tough now for West Brom to come back and Hull will feel they have three points in the bag. What a finish as well from Syed Manesh. Longman into Holmes. It's 4-1. It is 4-1. An assist from Ryan Longman. And a goal from the Youth Academy prospect Holmes. What a finish. Oh, the main man is here, mate. The main man is here. And just in time to see yourself get an assist. Oh, what a finish as well. What a finish. Hull City lead 3. Sorry. Hull City lead 4-1 against West Brom. A dream start, but they're not done here. Right, is there another chance in this for Hull? Here comes Longman. Fake shot. Oh, he's got him behind. Ryan Longman, he scored! It's 5-1 to Hull. 
Oh my, what a start to this championship season. Ryan Longwood with two goals and two assists, showing why he's the captain and the main man for this whole side. What a win this is for Hull. They went 1-0 down early on, but they didn't let that phase them. And they win this match 5-1. A great first three points for Hull City, who is led by their new manager, as you can see there, Sean Dyche. What a win. Oh, we got our first departure. It is Alfie Jones. Um, and he's leaving for about 1.6 million. Uh, he had a bit of a shocker in the first game, giving away a penalty and uh, making a mistake for the goal. So we've sold him for 1.65 million. Uh, we'll try and reinvest that in a new centre back. And I'll do some scouting. We get an A. Fantastic negotiations from Sean Dyche. Fantastic negotiations. And yeah, that, that's the team we'll go with for this game against Rotherham. We're going to sim it and we're going to see how we do. And then tomorrow we'll start off again with the cup match against Port Vale. So here we go. And we lose 1-0. That's not what we wanted at all. We have more shots, same amount of chances. And unfortunately, we lose 1-0. We take that L. But we can bounce back and we are going to get promoted this season, I am telling you. But that is it. That's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this because this, we'll be making this a full series until we win the Premier League or the Champions League with Hull City. It's going to happen. Thank you for watching. See ya. Damn, and she won't tell me where she working. She called me.